Hello, I am Ronin Pawn, and this is Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. And we've finished Mission 6, the mission of the Jets. And now it is time, my friends. We can put it off no longer. We are going interplanetary, yes. And I've got so much now. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, Pawnington, yes. Let's step into Pawnington. And I have a sneaking suspicion here. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not a good sneaking suspicion. So we're going to pop into... Where are we going to pop? Let's first, let's go into the R&D. Let's put my suspicions aside and head into the R&D center because we just might have enough science data from what scant little bit that we collected in our last mission to get another tier. Yes, we do. Now we could go for, let's see, the skipper. Uh, big 650 power engine, but we've got this one. I don't think I'm going to go for that because we are going into planetary and what I've got planned, we're going to need to be able to collect as much science as we possibly can, so I think we need this barometer. So that's what we're gonna pick up. And hey, we got in and out of the R&D center without, um, without an hour of me talking and talking and talking. Wonderful. I'm starting to get good at this, aren't I? Um, so now on to my sneaking suspicion. When I collected the science data from a last mission, it appeared that our, our um, uh, thermometers, uh, thermometer data didn't come in, and our thermometer data was attached to the same, the same, it was attached to, to what Bill was riding in. And as you can see here, let's just get this down to just the ships. Two ships, we've got the Sanity Mark V ship, which has landed at the moon, and the Save Jeb Mark II, which is sitting on top of it. So those are the only ships that remain. The only debris is also up here on the moon. And, and then we've got some flags, so there's nothing left. There's nothing left just sitting out there waiting for us to collect it, and yet I did not see a thermometer day to come back. And I'm thinking Bill didn't come back either. And if you saw the end of Mission 6, there's no good reason for that. Um... We, we popped the parachute, it was open, Bill was fine, he was on his way back, and, and then I switched out of Bill, and, and we watched the science gear come down, but there's no good reason why his parachute wouldn't have opened or would have snapped, it doesn't make any sense, so we will find out uh, shortly whether Bill survived, but for now, what we're doing is we're going to put together a ship to somewhere. Actually, we've got to get back out of the VAB. Sorry, everyone. We've got to go back into the tracking station here because we need to decide where we're going. Where are we going, everyone? We're going into planetary, I said, but I have no idea which direction to go to. Where should we go? Well, it looks like Eve is significantly closer to us than, what's this one, Duna. So that decision has already been made. Okay, boom, we're going to Eve. Get on board. Get on board the gravy train. Let's eat some gravy. Ooh, did anyone have gravy with their, um, with the dinners? I oh, know it was Thanksgiving in the US. Did you, did you have your gravy and your mashed potatoes and your green beans and all that? Was it tasty? Did you have a good time? How's your family, mate? How's your sister? How's your sister? I want to know about your sister because you know I'm all about your sister. So, um, first thing that we're going to do, we're going to make a probe. That's what we're going to do because we can't just throw some kerbals in. I mean, we could just throw some kerbals in a pod and send them out to Eve and say, you know, figure it out and bring back some science, but that would be very dangerous. That would be as though we have no respect for kerbal life. And I, I'm pretending as though I do. So we've got to, uh, we've got to put together a probe here. Um, what we're we going to need? We need a ton of science because I don't intend to bring the probe home. To be honest with you, I've never been to Eve. So why would I build a ship without knowing what the ship is going to need? Um, you know planning to get it back would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? So we're just going to ship it up there and we're going to send back as much data as we can. Um, what's this? That's the big old giant fuel tank we picked up in the science kit. That's nice. Yeah, no, we're not going to take that. That doesn't make any sense. We should just use the little babies, the little babies, just lander, lander style. So lander style, actually, could we go really, really babyish? I don't know. I have no idea. 
um, what we're going to need to land properly, but this is the this is the tack I'm taking. I have to take a tack, and I'm gonna take a tack, a tick, 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 tack. I'm gonna take this tack, and since we don't know what we're coming down on, I think I better use the the stronger struts, because I've never been to Eve. I've never been anywhere. I've never been interplanetary at all. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I, I don't know what size parachute. I don't know the gravity of Eve. I don't know anything about anything about anything. Maybe we could do like a three parachute deal. That could be fun. Let's do that. Because we can just tack them all on top of there, can't we? No, KSP doesn't want me to do that. Come on. There you go. Okay, now we've got three parachutes that all come down together. That will definitely keep us alive. I'm gonna need a little bit of propulsion, just a little baby, just a little tiny. So I usually use that one. What's this one? Maybe small, but packs quite a punch. What do you think? Let's test it. Let's, let's test it just because we can. So we're just gonna use one. That'll take forever. If we used three, then we'd have almost 100. We'd have 90 engine power instead of 50. That could be, that could be fun. That could be neat. What do you think? Shall we do that? Shall we do that thing? Yeah, let's do that thing. Uh, and we'll need to tie the fuel to it. Out, outwards, outwards instead of inwards for once. Yes, like that. We need our science gathering kit. Barometer, ooh, very small little barometer there. Um, Let's see, device for measuring local atmospheric pressure. Let's just, let's just have three of everything. Three of everything is nice. We'll have three of everything, and it'll all fit very nicely on these, these little canisters. Um, gonna need three mystery goo containers. Can I fit them on here? Oh, yes I can. That looks pretty good, actually. Actually, I quite like that. Like, well, I don't like that, but I like it enough. <laughs> we'll do it that way, anyway. Will we, will we? Come on, Pawn. Come on, Pawn. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it that way. Okay, we've got a bunch of science kit loaded on there. We're going to need communications, and we only need one of those. Now, I've been, I'm curious about the communications, because they've got different um, statistics here. This uses less electrical charge. Yes, it does. It has a different um, transmission interval, different throughput. Um, I'm just curious if, if different communications um, allows you to have, like, keep more of your data as you send it, you know? If you get, like, 20% data out of the antenna, would you get 25 or 30 out of bringing along the, the bigger, the bigger run? I presume it'll be more expensive when they get, get round to that cost 100, cost 150. Oh. Huh. See, it's all very interesting, isn't it? All very cute, but we're going into planetary, so I think we need a dish and not an antenna. Okay, I'm gonna say that that's a lander. Oh, it needs electricity. It needs electricity, you fool. Um, cause it's, uh, it's, and it needs to be able to generate electricity too. That would be very foolish if I went without that. Shall we just pop you on top like that? Yeah, now we've got a nice big electrical bank and we're going to need to be able to generate power. And we've only got, we, we didn't get any of our extendable, you know, turnable rotary photovoltaic. We didn't get any of that stuff. So, shall we do, Let's see, if we had three, if we had three, we could just go for six and put them all around this. Let's do that, because because I, I rarely ever do. I'm always sort of, let's put the minimum that we can possibly get away with on here. And we should, ooh, that looks good. I like that. Look at that. Yes, that's pretty. That's pretty it is. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Ah, excellent, that's our lander. So, we need to get it there. And fuel is an excellent way to do that. What, what, the, what is the use of this? What, why would you ever want that? Just stick it on the top there and it looks pretty. Is that the idea? Why, why would you ever want that? What is it? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Toroidal. It's a, it's a toroidal, to, toro, to, toro, 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 yes, round eight. I don't know what the purpose of that would be. Looks like it would float very well. Um, I don't know if there's any water on Eve. I don't know anything about Eve. That's what's going to be fun about all of this. So what are we going to do for our, um, for our stage to get, get off of this bloody green planet and over to whatever color the other planet's gonna be? 
I think we should use that six-sided staging, that, that four followed by two thing that I tried to do and it didn't work out. Hmm, so six-sided, we were gonna go six-sided with this, were we? I like to keep things very small and very lightweight. I like to do things as minimal as I possibly can. I see a lot of other YouTubers who just sort of slap gobs and gobs of fuel all over their ship and say, good, let's go. And that's fine, but it's a huge waste. I've seen people go to the moon and they have these massive ships. It's like the moon is right there. You don't need all that. Now, Eve is not right there and maybe we do need all that, but um, I'm gonna try something like this. I'm gonna try something, because I just want, I want the six-sided thing working so that I can do my little trick with the six-sided solid fuel. But, uh, I don't feel that I'll need all that liquid fuel, and this will keep the weight down, won't it? So we'll do that, followed by, well, followed by fuel ducting, won't we? Yes, and the fuel ducting will be going toward the middle, because we're just gonna have one engine. I'm willing to wait, I'm a patient fellow, I can wait. So we've got that, and those need to fall away, don't they? Yeah, we should we should make those fall away. How much does all this weigh? Am I am I sort of kick? Am I shooting myself in the foot doing things this way? Uh, probably, probably, but that's okay. That's okay. My foot can take it. My foot can take it. My foot has lots of blood and goo, and it'll be fine. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. What's this? Whoa. Whoa, those are, okay, so those are intended for super big things. Got it, got it. I hear you. This is gonna need a hell of a lot of strutting the way I'm putting it together, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, that's fine, I love struts. Struts are fun, struts are great. So then we're gonna do the giant Rockamax solid crazy boosters. Yes, this is a weird looking ship. I don't make, I don't make ships that don't look weird, do I? This is, this is my thing. I like making weird looking ships. Yeah, that is weird indeed. That is weird indeed. Lots of struts, lots of struts. Oh, well, let's put an engine on the liquid fuel stage real quick. And of course I like the lightweight, high fit. But we've got new engines, let's look into them. Let's look into the new engines. So, uh, the, the Poodle? What's the Poodle? 220, a more reasonable engine for rough economic times, doubles as a barbecue when at low power. Okay, we're gonna have to play with the poodle at some point, but I don't think that point is today. Keep moving, Pawn. Stick and move, stick and move, mate. Oh, now lots and 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 lots of struts. Strut, 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 strut. Yes, that's good. That's, that's ugly. That's ugly, but I've got to get, I've got to be good about this. I've got to get used to being ugly, because, because, um, I just, <laughs> I'll sit here and tweak all day, and then you have to wait for the episode, because I've still got to edit it. So is that a ship? Let's see, we've got solid fuel, we've got liquid fuel stage, we've got a lander stage, everything detaches, everything falls away, we've got bloody bunch of science to take, we've got a way to transmit it, we've got a way to regenerate electricity. I think that's our ship, isn't it? That was quick. We need a name for this ship. Where are we going? We're going to Eve. So, um, we're gonna call this the Atom. <laughs> it's the Atom Mark 1, intended to penetrate Eve's... Oh, I am just a randy little bloke, aren't Incoming I? Incoming message. Ah, it always gets me with that. God, incoming message. I've got this little program that's it's for Gmail and it allows me to have several accounts and it'll let me know when each account has email because Gmail doesn't have a way of doing that right now but my god the sound and it's just built in there's nothing you can do about it the sound that it plays is bloody nine billion decibels it blows your ears off every time so I must apologize for that I will edit out, edit it out of the videos when I can but I won't when it's just bloody funny, will I? So Adam Mark 1 intended for penetrating Eve. <laughs> um yeah. Yeah. And landing on her. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. I'm a bad person. I'm a very bad person. And that's what you like. You're a dirty bloke, you're watching me, aren't you? 
Um, is that good? That's all very symmetrical. It looks all very nice. Okay, let's do a little staging. And we're gonna have fun with the staging because this is the one where I said what I want to do is I want to just have the four of them fire and then we'll save two and then we'll fire those two later. So that's the one I want right there. I'm gonna drag that one up here and then I'm gonna drag this one up here. Yes, so these four are gonna fire and those are gonna get us up and off and maybe to, I don't know, three and a half kilometers or so, depending on the weight of the ship. And then we'll still have these two to fire after we've um, after we've dropped, which we've got to set that up, after we've dropped the weight of those those first four. Um, <laughs> this isn't going in the video. Those aren't on the, those aren't on the freaking, look, look, look. They're not, they're not, <laughs> they're not on the decouplers. Oh, I thought I was doing so good. They're not on the decouplers, you fool. Did I get them now? Are they on the decouplers now? They are. Are the decouplers on straight? Because they don't, they don't look like it. Yeah, yeah, it's all good now. Got it all sorted, everyone. We're all straight now. Okay, now get these decoupler thing, get, the, get this all sorted out again. Yes, okay, so the Atom Mark 1 is now ready to go. Properly staged, properly saved. We're gonna take it out to the test pad and, I mean, the uh, launch pad. <laughs> Have I doomed us by calling it the test pad? Houston, I, I'm, I've gotten on, on good terms with Houston again. We, we sang a little bit in the last episode after he caused me quite a bit of trouble by destroying, by using the abort button on our jet when when it wasn't ready. So I've gotten on good terms with Houston again. How you doing up there in the um, in the tower, Houston? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Fawn. Good to hear from you. Hey, man, thanks for taking me out last weekend. That was really a fun time. Oh, no, it was my pleasure. All my pleasure. You really can drink, though. That's that's surprising. Oh, yeah. No, we Americans, we we drink just to live, really. Uh, the only way that we can survive our, our huge egos is to just, just pour it down, really. Well, I don't think we should go on this and, and insult half of our viewership, more than half of our viewership with this line. So I'm going to turn SAS on and um, throttle us up. And Houston, would you give us a nice, pleasant countdown? Okay. Take off in a five, four, three, two... One. And we have liftoff of the Atom Mark One. Have a pleasant and wonderful trip, Paul, and I'll see you back here and I'll buy the next round. Okay, thanks, Houston. Thanks. Okay, we're tipping just a little bit down in the northwards direction, so I'm gonna try and push us back up, but that's not doing anything. Probably should have put some advanced SAS on this. Now that I see what's going on, yeah, that would have been helpful. Maybe if I rotated us. Maybe if I maybe if I didn't do anything. Because whenever I do anything, we have troubles. So maybe if I just lived through this, just just sit it out, wait it out, wait it out, Pawn. Just just hang on. We've got no oh my god. Without SAS. This is gonna be fun, basically, without SAS. About ready to drop our first stage here. And switching? Do we have any more control? Can I do anything yet? No. No. Do we have absolutely no control at this point with the solid fuel? Yep, we're going right over. This is definitely going to be a, um, test run. <laughs> because we are going right over. I didn't- I didn't give us any means whatsoever of controlling the ship. Uh, there's no- there's no control in the Octo. Uh, at all. There's no, you know, turning gears, and we can't vector with solid fuel engines, so we're just going wherever the ship wants us to go, and nothing fired. Okay, <laughs> we got a little staging error there, too, a little staging gaff. Well, business as usual here on the Ronin Born channel, but we do have a ship that flies and is very stable and it's working out, you know, it's fine, it's a good ship. We just need a little SAS. And, um, I need to restage it just a bit, and we'll be, we'll be ready to go. You know what? Here's what we'll do. We'll test the rest of the ship. Goodbye. Goodbye, you. And, um, kill the engine, and goodbye, you. And drop the landing legs, turn the SAS off. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? We don't have anything to actually enable SAS right now. So I could have it on, I could not have it on. It doesn't really matter. Okay, um, last thing to test. Parachute. Well, no, let's throttle up and see about these. Yeah. Those are some ugly sounding engines, aren't they? Yes, they are. Gear down, gear down. There we go. And we'll pop a parachute. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, okay. Parachute's out, engine's off. And yeah, that's okay. That's good. Oh, yes. Let's touch down very, very gently. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Look at me. Hey. No, 
I suck. Um, control, what kind of SAS? Inline reaction wheel or the advanced stabilizer? The advanced stabilizer weighs more, doesn't it? Total mass 0.5, total mass 0.3. I don't really need anything more than the, um, then a little bit of SAS should be fine for us, I think. And the other thing is that I wanted our engine to fire when we dropped that stage. Okay, Houston, give us a go. Lift off in three, two, one. Yes, we have. We, we, we've got it. We've got it now. <laughs> Thanks, Houston. Um, so we're good and we're off, and SAS is working just fine, keeping us balls on the sky. Balls on the sky. <laughs> Yes, we're on our heads right now, and our balls are on the sky. And how are we doing? Let's take stock, because I didn't before, with these four engines pushing a very, very lightweight little ship here up into the atmosphere. It looks like we're gonna get close to five kilometers out of these first four engines. That's very good. That's very good. I like that indeed. And already up to 150 meters per second, so yeah. Yeah, it's a nice little ship, isn't it? Oh, we should get um, we should get a quick screenshot. There we go. I got a screenshot. That will be the thumbnail, maybe. And we're dropping that stage, and we're already up to six kilometers. We made six kilometers in the first stage, and we didn't drop a significant amount of speed. So that works very well. I'm going to recommend you use that method. Um. <laughs> Recommending anything that I do is just silly, but I'm gonna recommend that that's a good method. You use four solid stages and then the two and drop it. You just saw it, so just do that. Do that thing that I did. It's very efficient, very useful. And we're uh, coming up to 12 kilometers now. Moving down to uh, 60, about 60 on the bubble. And um, yeah, we're pushing out for an orbital circularization, basically. Not a lot to say. Um, <laughs> oh, ready to drop this solid fuel. Goodbye. Okay, and we're off, and we're off, and we're up to 20 kilometers. So I'm going to bank us down to the 45 vertically. And we're doing very well. This is working out good. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. As long as I can keep that, that charade up, we'll be, <laughs> we'll be good. So, we're on our way to EVE. Our intention is to just throw a probe at it. And, and let it hit the atmosphere, and let it just just sink and parachutes open. Hopefully there's some atmosphere on EVE. That's what I'm hoping. Um, the, the parachutes will work, otherwise we're going to have to... We're gonna have to do some, some good landing with not a lot of fuel. 71! 71 will do. That's quite fine, quite fine. And then we'll rush up to our Apple apps in Physics Warp, apparently. How's the ship look under Physics Warp? Looks fine, looks very stable, very nice indeed. Oh wait, are these engines? Yeah, those are empty. So let's drop physics warp and drop those engines and just push away very gently. That's good. Okay, so those are empty. How? Oh good, it was good timing. I didn't waste a lot of fuel carrying a lot of weight, so we're doing really well on this. This is working out smashingly. The engines are very quiet out in map mode these days. I kind of liked them more when they were big and loud, even in map mode. I liked it. It let you know that you were really doing something. This feels a little bit detached, is what it feels. Oh, no, no. Come on, come on. Bank down, bank down. Bank down, bank down, bank... No. How, how do I do this? How do I keep my Apple apps where I have it? Do I, do I thrust toward the planet at this point? Yeah, that looks like that's doing it. Okay, so that'll raise the peri apps without raising the Apple apps too much. So, how do we get to Eve? Step one, set Eve as the target. Okay. Now, Eve is green. That's going to help us quite a bit. Now, what do we do? What do we do? How do we get to Eve? So, if we want to get to Eve, then we want to come off... We want to come off in, you know, that direction. We want to, you know, make a burn like here. We want to push up... Yeah. We want to push in this direction, toward Eve. Right? Oh, well... Duh, pawn. You're trying to go to the sun, right? That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to go to Eve, which is closer to the sun. So what you want to do is not go in the direction of Eve. You want to fly on your retrograde. And in that way, diminish your relative velocity to the sun and let the sun's gravity draw you toward Eve. You fool. Yeah, that's more or less what you want to do. So if we do that and push out in that direction. Yes, yes. You see? You see? Do you see? I see. Now, how are we going to make that into an encounter with Eve, is the question. Hmm, how, how quickly does Eve move? I have no idea. I have no idea whatsoever. 
And are we, are we anywhere near? Oh, hello, we've got some, yes, we've got some moves. So let's see, when we get to Eve, the closest approach, so that's where, the, that's where Eve will be by the time we get there. Wow, Eve is spinning pretty quickly. Or, or this, this is gonna take a long time, is another way of looking at that. More fuel, less fuel? We want to use as little as possible. Oh, that's getting good. That's getting good, isn't it? Yes. Yes, hello, Eve. Hello, Eve. How are you doing, Eve? Oh, and you've disappeared, Eve. Oh, Eve, come back, Eve, come back. Okay, so there you are, Eve. We're getting close, we're getting close. Um, what if I start moving us like this? Ooh, hello, Eve. Lovely, lovely. Hi, Eve. Oh, yes, we've got ourselves an encounter. So when's our um, node? Node's in 16 minutes, and we've got to burn for a minute and 25 seconds in order to make this happen. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm. How close do we come to the sun? Are we going to melt? <laughs> I don't know. We're about to find out. It's a good thing that Bill isn't on the ship. Or Jeb. Poor Jeb. <laughs> Jebediah. Okay, let's let's just do this. Let's get back in our world. 